Have you ever been heartbroken? Yeah, I was in a relationship with a girl that I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. We were together for uh, 15 months. She was my, my first girlfriend this past November. She told me she was cheating on me. So I, uh, I initially wanted to try and figure stuff out. I didn't think it was, you know, anything too far gone that we couldn't work through. But if you shatter the kind of trust that we had for someone that you'd known for a few days, then, you know, it doesn't really matter if we can fix things. Then you're like, I can't really trust you to, you know, raise our children or you know, take care of me if I'm sick or something, so. Right before my ex broke up with me, I was obviously, I went to her house for like the last time. Well, we, we were just chilling, watching Stranger Things, but then she kissed me and it was like, I was like, okay, so, so what's going on? And then five minutes later, she broke up with me and, and she confessed, right, I kissed you to see if there was anything still there and I felt nothing. So I was really like, you know what I mean? It was a bit, yeah, bit painful. About a week and a half ago, me and uh, my partner about eight months split up. It wasn't one big incident. It was more just loads of little arguments and a build up of small things. No one cheated. There's no hard feelings. And that's what makes it harder. The fact I have no hatred or anger towards the girl. It's all love and I still care for her and I'm always going to as well. Just trying to take as much time out of my day doing stuff. Just trying to fill that dead time that I'd normally fill with her and seeing her and speaking to her, but yeah, it's quite hard. Have you ever been in love? A long time ago. Felt good for like a month or two, three months, six months, I don't know. It was a long time. And then like, just nothing but pain, bro. It's every day, it's pain. I wanted to die, but I, I feel good now. Started seeing the sunlight, going outside, getting fresh air, eating healthy. I feel like if you love yourself, it's easier to love others. My first relationship, and it was, it was two years, I was pretty like, you know, I thought I thought I was getting married to this girl pretty much. And then, uh, yeah, no, it just went down the drain. I think we just grew apart, really. And, you know, neither of us wanted to accept it, but we kind of, it was just natural. We needed to do it. I would say my last breakup was their fault. I believe that, well, it was evident that they weren't in the right emotional place to be in a relationship, do you know what I mean? So it was on me to having to accept that and um, let them go. I was at a stage in my life where I'm not here for the games. I wasn't here for the, for the nonsense of it. So, you know what I mean? It was just a conversation to say, hey, like we're just in different stages in our life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's the best thing that's ever happened because because of that, yeah. I'm a married man now to the woman of my dreams. So, do you know what I mean? Like it took that to find what I needed. I had trouble, you know, of attachment issues where I feel like I needed to be around people and that's one of the things that this relationship taught me was to you know enjoy my own presence. Attachment issues obviously comes from like you know coming from a broken home. I come from a very broken home you know dysfunctional family so I try to do my best to uh, be the the different one in my family and break that generational curse and you know be different. So.